Paleoanthropology is the study of ancient humans based on fossil evidence, tools and other signs of human habitation. It is conjectured that Homo sapiens idaltu from Ethiopia lived from about a lakh and sixty thousand years ago. The final frontier of Homo sapiens evolution, today's modern human being. It is said that every seed which takes birth conserves the imprints of evolutionary changes in the DNA hexagon. As a result of various evolutionary changes, humans started establishing civilization in various parts of the world. From hunt-gatherers, humans adopted omnivorous food habits, resulting into a civilized system of cattle rearing for milk and milk products, as well as for farming, which naturally led to trade and commerce. An excellent example of this civilization development of trade and commerce and usage of sea routes for material export and import is the Indus Valley Civilization. Approximately 4,500 years back, this civilization flourished on the river banks of Indus, which spread over 3,000 kilometers in route length. spread over from Afghanistan to India with important centers like Hadappa, Mohenjadaro and Kalibanga in Pakistan, Dholavira in Khadir Kutch and Lothal in the Gulf of Kambe. Vanishing Hearts Foundation's Green Soldiers visited the Lothal with Mr. Anil Juwarekar to study the excavated tidal dockyard and the citadel. Lothal is an important site of archaeological study for its city planning and a tidal dock operation akin to the present day concept of SECs, if not the special economic zones, working for the entire hinterland of Indus Valley. A living civilization of ancient time which got buried under the earth due to various geohydrological changes was excavated by Archaeological Survey of India and has now become a major tourist spot. All the cargo vessels passing through this great port were sealed, having various icons and signage which eventually were merchandised and popularized as Made in India branded products. The dock had ramps to facilitate the porters to lift large cargo loads on the back easily. Out of various seals, the most famous Bullock icon represented the brand identity of Indus Valley civilization across the world and is one of the oldest evidence of human civilization depicting the interdependency on cattle in the Homo sapiens food chain. During the Maurya and Gupta era 250 BC, Emperor Ashoka used the icon as his emblem for the territory he ruled, which was inspired by the natural instincts of the lion. The four-headed lions facing east, west, north and south eventually become the brand identity of the Indian Republic. Standing at the top of the food chain, the protected lions roam freely in Gir Sanctuary and National Park in Gujarat. To conserve the perishing ecosystem, it is important to maintain the delicate balance of enough fodder for herbivorous animals and enough for the carnivores to thrive in the wild. This 1,412 square kilometer Gir Lion protected forest area is considered to be the last abode of Asiatic lions surviving in the wild. Vanishing Hearts Foundations India is working in the field of conservation of this endangered species in the wild thus bringing to you this inspiring video footage for educational and thought-provoking purpose. 
we humans unwittingly have disturbed this delicate balance of the ecosystem. Back home at the VHF Educational Centre in Dudhala village, near the famous Tulshi Shyam temple, Himmat Bhai, the local resource person and a VHF member, offered Anil and green soldiers a fresh, traditional, healthy breakfast. Butter. No. No. Ghee? Makhan. Makhan. For little Parth, it was a change from daily eating habits of packed, preserved and junk food. For sure, he has started learning a lesson to have a healthy breakfast to begin his day. For the green soldiers, it was of a great educational value to learn local food habits from Himmat Bhai. Eraj is thinking and worried of the extincts of vultures. On the breakfast table, reminding of his recent past experience of a lucky morning of this research and filming expedition in the coastal area. From a distance, they saw Nilgai killed by the lioness near Muldwarka. His local guide pointed out the happening in nature from the movements of crows and vultures. They rushed to the spot with the alert lens in action. Nature has its own cleaning system with important species like fox, the jackal and the striped hyena. Birds like crows and now the highly endangered species of vultures living on carcasses of animals eat and in turn keep the nature's system clean. Such large group of vultures are rare to sight since we humans started using the drug diclofenac to increase the productivity of milk. This has resulted into depletion of the vultures. It has also affected the birth and growth rate of the vulture population. For such a group of vultures, it would hardly take few hours to clean up the carcass of the dead body of a cow or a water buffalo around the village. The other major conservation effort mounted by the Vanishing Herds Foundation is aimed at the dwindling vulture population. It is estimated that we have lost 90% of gyps vultures like the white back and long build due to the poisonous effect of diclofenac. These observations of happening around a kill converted a fine morning into a lucky morning for VHF team. As soon as a lion approaches the kill, the lioness withdraws as a mark of respect to the male lion. Allowing the lion to have food, not knowing about the hidden camera, she almost walked into the hideout. The Asiatic lion, scientifically known as Panthera leo persica, is believed to have been separated from their African cousins, Panthera leo leo, around 50,000 years back. Due to the changing environment during the Ice Age, Asiatic lions survived within the migration route extended from Persia, Greece, Turkey, Russia, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Armenia, Afghanistan, Pakistan to India. About 100 years back, this big cat survived from Kashmir in the north till Bihar in the east, from the Narmada river as a southern territorial edge to the present only surviving lion population in western Gujarat. Due to over-exploitation of the forest and grasslands for agriculture in the last hundred years, 
These big cats are confined to only 1,412 square kilometers in the Gir Sanctuary and National Park in Saurashtra. मुख्य धंधो हमारो पशुपालन से अने सिंह से ना ये राष्ट्र नो एक प्राणी से ना हमारो गौरव से सोरठ से इतने कवि एक ही दुख धरती सोरठ नहीं जग जुनी अने गढ़ जुनो गिरनार जहाँ हावजड़ा हैं जड़ पिए ना नमना नर ने नार आवी सोरठ नहीं धरती अने आवो सोरठ नो खमीर से अने ये सोरठ नहीं धरती ना काया जनी मसुंद्री जेवी नदी होए, हेरण जेवी नदी होए, अने यहाँ हावज पानी पीता होए, अने हमारी बेने उदिकरियों पानी भरती होए, आवी धरती होरटनी, अने ये सी साधुला डंकु देता होए, अने आवी होरटनी धरती ना मालधारियों, अने ये नु गाओरों सी। Due to strict conservation efforts carried out in the last 30 years in Gir National Park, both herbivorous and carnivorous populations have increased. जीव जीव स्थिति भोजन तुम्हारी पालेली बिलाड़ी हो अने उन जगह ने मरे तुम्हें क्या वार राजी था ने तुम्हारो पालेला पोपट ने मरे था तो तुम्हें नाकुस था वो क्या नहीं ये हमारा पालेला पशु ने अभियारण नहीं बाहर आवी ने मारी ना के तो गरीब खेडू तो केवी रीते खेती करे के मेनु संचालन है � अबे गाय मारी ना किया तेरा गाय नहीं कीमत बीस हजार रुपिया से बीड गार्ड हुई से इन्हें सोधी ना लावो पड़े से मैं बीड गार्डो जे हेडक्वार्टर में यहाँ जे इन्हें नौकरी हुई थी रहता ना थी वो सीमर में इन्हें नौकरी हुई तो रहता हुए जसादार का उन्हें रहता हुए अबे लोगों बेबे दिवस सुधी म पचास टका पैसा वापराई जाए शायद। अब ये तो ये लो ये तो अब हमें क्या नहीं मांगता? स्वतंत्र हिंदुस्तान नहीं इधर स्वतंत्र पन अठाने जेह खुर्शी में बेचे नहीं सरकार से। तमारी के मारी नहीं थी, खुर्शी ने सलाम किया। ये तो राजा से, ये ने आपने कहा आप बजट ही आम ले जाए कि वो कहीं तो था तो नहीं इतने मानसों ने भाई तो लागवान हो जाए, ने रंजार मातो माल ढोर नहीं रंजार था ही, बीजे कोई रंजार तो था नहीं। Due to infights for prey, mates and territory, the animals started migrating and venturing out of the sanctuary to nearby cultivated villages, land and the forest patches in the revenue area. The natural dispersion of Asiatic lion in all the directions from Gir sanctuary. Has been an interesting area of research and wildlife film for the VHF member working towards the educational goals and objectives of the organization. It is not surprising that the cheetal, nilgai, or the rose and wild boar in search of food and water move towards the agricultural village lands, especially for irrigated water during hot summer nights. They are naturally followed by the big cats. With the eyes on the prey in the night light, when these cats are on a hunting spree, running behind the prey, camouflaged with grass, the open well becomes a death trap. Hearing the strange growling sound of the animal in the morning, the farmer is horrified to see an animal in the open well and informs the forest department about the disaster in his fields. The wildlife rescue operation team with limited basic resources come to rescue the wild animal. This team possesses traditional knowledge of capturing the wild cats. The cage has been set up to pull the lioness through the open gate of the trap cage. Nirav Parikh witnesses firsthand a case of the problem around open wells in the lion's domain. Many times, Nirav used a spring-winding 16mm film camera. Unfortunately, this time, he had only some old film stock, which was partly fogged, but the event was important for him to be covered. When the lioness was pulled out for the first time, as is noticed, she was pregnant, which everyone was unaware of. During the first attempt, she struggled, not knowing what her fate is. 
In the second attempt, with the cage readjusted, the lioness knew that she is being pulled out of the death trap, cooperated for a smooth pull into the trap cage. Range Forest Officer Mr. Atara and Manubhai, one of the key brains behind the operation, converted the task into a simple trap shot. The overcrowded villages gave a sea off to the captured beast. It was a significant event documented to study the problem of open well around Gir Lion Sanctuary. Since the inception of the problem, VHF has been supporting various conservation and educational activities. After rigorous experimentation and efforts by Harshad Patel, Anil Juwarekar and his team, by 2007, VHF completed construction of parapet wall around 106 open wells in the fields to create barriers for prevention from lions and other animals falling into the well. These barricaded walls were identified after extensive study of the area in the lion's natural corridors falling on the migration routes outside the sanctuary. Going back to the story of the lioness pulled out of the well, she delivered three cubs next day in the observation cage of the veterinary treatment hospital at Wildlife Conservation Center at Sasangir. Nero with his camera followed four animals to be released back in the wild forest after three months. The rescue team is back on a new job now. This time, Manubai is accompanied with Lab Bhai, Hamir Bhai, Hussein Bhai, and Ibrahim. To open the cage door, Ibrahim was made to climb the tree sitting on a strong branch at a safe distance. These are the first steps in wilderness. The eyes are open and legs are just strong to run and follow the mother when released in the wild. They have to learn the jungle rule and become fit to fight the challenge of survival. The cubs awaited and cried for the mother around the cage. In order to cool down the lioness and to prevent human handling smell, a half hour silence was maintained. Ibrahim sitting on the tree trough right above the cage slowly pulled the door of the trap cage. The rescued lioness from the death trap is now free and back into the wilderness with the three beautiful cups. The march towards freedom began by taking the stock of the cups. Ignoring a live bait at close hand, she chose freedom. We feel our effort of construction of preventive parapet wall around the open well will help prevent cases of open well becoming death traps. May the lions of Gir roll forever.